This is Thomas and Lady Hat's Birthday Party, a story of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, by the Rev. W. Audrey. Bertie dropped some passengers off at the station. Have you noticed something strange today? he asked Thomas and Percy. What sort of something? asked Thomas. The fat controller is acting rather strangely, replied Bertie. I saw him staring at the sky earlier, said Percy. I did wonder what he was thinking about. The reason was simple. It was late. It was Lady Hat's birthday, and Sir Topham Hat, the fat controller, was thinking about his new suit that he was going to wear to Lady Hat's party that afternoon. Your new suit might be perfect for my party, said Lady Hat to her husband, the fat controller. Thank you. I'll wear my finest hat too, said the fat controller. After all, your birthday is a very special occasion. Don't be late, will you, said Lady Hat. My party starts at three o'clock. I'm working at another station today, replied the Fat Controller, but don't worry, I'll do my very best to be right on time. Thomas was working very hard too, hard on his branch line. He was moving heavy trucks loaded with rocks. His fireman was busy too. He was shoveling coal into the furnace to help Thomas work quickly. Phew, said Thomas' fireman, wiping his hand across his hot face. This is very hard work on this hot day. Thomas agreed. It was hard work, but it made him feel like a really useful engine. I don't think this scene happened in the original episode. Let's just move on. The Fat Controller was working at another station that day, like he said. At two o'clock, he changed into his new yellow waistcoat and black suit, and so he was ready for Lady Hat's birthday party. You look fine, sir, said the station master. But you'd best be going now, he added, looking at his watch. Indeed, said the Fat Controller. As the engines are busy working, I'll drive my car to the party. The Fat Controller set off in his car to the station. He had only driven a little way down the road when he realised his car had a flat tyre. Bother, he said crossly as he looked at the damaged wheel. If I change the tyre myself, I will get my new suit dirty, and that would never do. He was just wondering what he could do instead when Caroline the car drove up. Hello, Caroline, said the Fat Controller. My car is a flat tyre. Could you please give me a lift to the birth to my wife's birthday party? Of course, said Caroline. I would be happy to take you to Lady Hat's birthday party. The Fat Controller asked Caroline to drive rather quickly. He was worried that he would arrive late for the party. Poor Caroline began to feel unwell. Before long, with steam pouring from her bonnet, she came to a sudden stop. Bother, bother, said the Fat Controller. What am I going to do now? Just then, the Fat Controller heard a whistle. He turned round and saw George the Steamroller rolling down the road towards him. Can I help you, sir? asked George's driver. Can you take me to my wife's birthday party, please? asked the Fat Controller. Well, we can take you to Thomas, replied George's driver. We saw him working further along the line. I'm sure Thomas will be able to take you straight to your station. But what about me? Well, Caroline the car, who was still feeling a little poorly. Don't worry, Caroline, said the fat controller. When I get back to the station, I'll send someone to help you and repair my car too. You wait right there, Caroline, he had Caroline, he added. That's all I can do, coughed Caroline as she watched the Fat Controller clone aboard the steamroller. George then rolled away, taking the Fat Controller to Thomas. But oh dear, the Fat Controller's new suit and hat were being splashed with George's dirty engine oil. But worse was to come. Just as George reached Thomas, his brakes failed and he lost control. He rolled right across the road and fell into a muddy ditch. The Fat Controller was sent flying through the air and landed up to his waist in the mud. <coughs> Bother! 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 cried the Fat Controller crossly. Thomas and his driver were shocked to see the Fat Controller covered in mud. Can we help you, sir? asked Thomas's driver. Yes, please! cried the replied the Fat Controller as he climbed out of the ditch. Can you take me back to the station as fast as possible? I don't want to be late for my wife's birthday party, which starts at three o'clock. I'm afraid our fireman is not feeling well, said Thomas's driver. He has been working very hard in this hot weather and now he needs a rest. We can't move until unless someone does his job. It's not a problem, I'll do it, said the Fat Controller. Thomas was very proud to have such a special fireman. The Fat Controller got rather hot and dirty, keeping Thomas's furnace stoked with coal. He was covered in coal dust too, but he didn't mind at all because he knew Thomas would get him to the station as fast as he could. And he did too. Thomas reached the station just before three o'clock. Thank you, said the Fat Controller to Thomas, his driver and his tired fireman. You've all done a hard day's work. You can finish now and go and have a good rest. The Fat Controller looked up at the station clock. 
Seeing as how easy he was, the little lady he rushed over the, to the flower store and bought a large bunch of flowers for Lady Hat. Good luck, says Thomas. The fat controller in his now dirty and damaged suit rushed through the station with the flowers. When he reached the party, no one could see him. They could only see the large bunch of flowers he was hiding behind. As he walked into the room, everyone was shocked to see his muddy and oily clothes. The fat controller smiled at the little lady hat. He knew he was a little late, and he was dirty, but he had done his very best to get there on time, so he had kept his promise to her. Thank you, my dear, said Lady Hattish, the fat controller gave her the lovely bunch of flowers. She looked in mud in surprise at his muddy and oily jacket and his torn and stained trousers. I know this is my party, she said with a smile, but I didn't realise it was a fancy dress party. Everyone, including the fat controller, laughed loudly. And Lady Hat's birthday party began. <laughs> Wasn't that funny?